Hey guys, Nick here, and welcome to another episode of Survival Island. In wrong series, sorry. I just recorded Survival Island. Uh, let me go again. Hey guys, Nick here, and welcome to another episode of Super Challenge. And today, guys, we are doing the most incredible thing. The fishing episode. Let's, st let's stink and go. Yeah, today, we're just fishing, you know? That's the idea. I need to turn particles on. Uh, yeah, that's not right either. There. That's better. Uh, but yeah, today we're fishing. And if you're wondering why, well, uh, let me explain. Basically, uh, yeah, I've wanted to do a fishing episode for a while. And, uh, this works out fine, you know? This episode, this is it. This is the fishing episode. So, yeah, we're just gonna have a nice, chill video where we fish. <sighs> um, but yeah. We're fishing, we're fishing, we're fishing, fishing, fishing. I do have a couple of things I want to talk about. One of them being something I've wanted to talk about for a while now, but haven't really gotten a chance to on camera. And that is Stampy's Lovely World. My content, a, lot, a large amount of my content is made from his era of Minecraft. Like, I wouldn't have started YouTube if it weren't for him. Half the series I do, they just wouldn't have happened. Super Challenge might have happened. Sky Map? Definitely not. Survival Island? Almost no. Almost never. He was my first ever Minecraft YouTuber that I ever watched. Kind of. I did technically watch a different YouTuber first. Uh... But I wouldn't consider him my first ever Minecraft YouTuber that I watched because he wasn't that great of a person. I can't remember who he was. Um, but he wasn't that great of a person. So I stopped watching him. And then I, stinking, started watching Stampy. I saw Stampy and I was like, oh my god, this is the guy. This is the man. And Let's Play content has been on my channel ever since. Uh, not ever since, but like, you know, a large amount of my content was inspired by Stampy. And if he never did Lovely World, I don't think I would have ever been confident in any of my series, honestly. I wouldn't have been confident in this series. I wouldn't have been confident in Survival Island. I just, I would not have had the confidence to continue certain series. I would have just been like, well, these series are decent, but they're not going to continue. Um, so, yeah, I just... Stampy left... Stampy's Lovely World has left a giant legacy on YouTube. And actually, fun plans that I have after it ends are to kind of just um, watch the entirety of Stampy's Lovely World. I'm watching from episode one to episode however many he ends off on. <sighs> when I heard it was ending, I was actually kind of heartbroken. I was there since, like, episode 165. I think. Since before episode 200, after episode 100. Sometime around there is where I started with him. So it was kind of odd to hear that he wasn't going to really be doing Minecraft. Well, he wasn't really going to be doing the, um, 
any more lovely world. I was kind of upset. But I was like, it has reached a natural stopping point, I guess. Um, am I upset? Yes. But has Stampy also left a legacy that will last a lifetime? It'll last a generation. Yeah. He has. And I, I have also been inspired by other YouTubers. Um, one of which named Favor My Saber, if you guys have heard of him. Uh, go check him out. His channel's dying. So, go go check out Favor My Saber. Go check out Stampy. Check out, like, all creators, you know? Try a bunch of things. There are a lot of really good creators out there, and... You know, Stampy inspired pretty much all of my content. This series... I would never have had the confidence to do if it wasn't for Stampy. I would have probably stopped a while ago. If it wasn't for him. Skymap? That would have probably been over by now. That would have been over as soon as I killed the Ender Dragon if it wasn't for Stampy. So, I will miss Lovely World. Are you kidding me? I go to all the trouble of making this wall... And Zombie, just stinking, climbs over it. I made that wall so I wouldn't have to deal with mobs. I'm not even gonna bother. Not even gonna bother. He'll turn into a drowned, and then annoy me. Are you really that persistent, dude? I spammed torches all around this area so that I wouldn't have to deal with this. Oh my god! Hey! Uh... I don't know how drowns work. Alright. Um. I guess let me get that patched. It's ridiculous. I was thinking. Fix this build already. I didn't want to have to do this. There's not even any blocks in here. Oh my god. Run. Just run. Just run. <laughs> I didn't want to have to... Are you freaking kidding me? How did that not hit my base? And that... is why I sleep in Minecraft. Always. Mobs freaking suck. However, I can't be on Peaceful. All right, here's some dirt. Do I have wood? Do I have a nicer block? Um, bit of obsidian. Here's some wood. Boom. I cannot believe this. I just nearly got assassinated. What the heck? Ugh. People wonder why I don't play with mob griefing and that stuff. It's just not fun to play with it. All right. I think that'll do it. Alright. Back to the meat of the episode. Fishing. Um, yeah, so I finished up talking about Stampy, basically. 
Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about in this episode was my own content. Um, which is Scarlet and Violet DLC videos. We're going to start with that. They've highly likely already started coming out. If they haven't, I'm a bit surprised. Um, yeah. And after that, I'm either doing Stardew Valley or stinking Hypixel Skyblock. I'm heavily leaning towards Stardew Valley, though. If you haven't already, check out the poll in my community tab. Because that, if you basically cl click on my channel and then click on Community, that is how you will get to my Community tab, which will basically show a bunch of things that What am I trying to say? My community tab will basically tell you guys what I like. Uh, there, it'll basically have a poll. Anything that I don't feel like putting in a video, that is where you'll find it in a community tab. That's where you'll find stuff from basically any YouTuber. Um. So yeah. Um, yeah, if you haven't checked out that poll already, go do it, and I should explain why. So, I plan on nearly completely revamping Survival Island. Not, like, restarting from the very beginning, but I am planning on revamping the entire island. So, I'm going to be making, I'm practically going to be remaking the entire thing. So, yeah basically building around and upgrading stuff that I already have. The castle isn't going to get much of a redo, but it is going to get some new stuff. Um, yeah, it's basically all going to get a bit of a makeover. And it's going to look really cool in the end, but it is going to take me a long time. So what I wanted to do was kind of Make it so that I could just go. I, I wanted to make it so that I could start building it uh, while I rewatch Star Wars movies and Stampede's Lovely World when I get to that. Actually, I did the math today. And Stampede's Lovely World, as of the time I'm recording this video, has around. It has nearly. 260 hours of content on YouTube from episode 1 to episode 800 whatever. Like. But yes. Lovely World nearly reached triple digits. Or quadruple digits with um with videos. Which, that's impressive. The fact that he was able to make a series that last that had a legacy that lasted over 800 episodes is absolutely amazing. Um yeah. Also, if I ever do Hold up. No mending, but luck of the C2. Maybe I'll get a mending one. I'll use that later. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, yeah. If Super Challenge gets a Season 2, I am allowing TPing. TP was so useful that or wasn't useful, and I feel like it really could have been useful. So, if we get a season two of this, I'm I'm util I'm utilizing that to the fullest. Like, no matter what you guys say, you guys might be like, it's cheating! No, don't do it! Realize how much of a quality of life improvement that would be? All my bases are spread apart across, like, thousands of blocks. I have all the coordinates.
every single coordinate I have. So, yeah. Um... I feel like there's more that I should talk about. Uh, there's a couple of videos that I thought... Oh! That reminds me, yeah. There was a video I was going to make. And then I didn't. It was a completely scrapped video, and I actually wanted to talk about the team I used. Uh, so that I could record it at the, uh, at the, you know, at the end of the year. Um, basically, it was going to be my own review on Pokemon Black and White, because DLC's coming out. That's likely their next project, besides potentially a Let's Go Espeon and Let's Go Umbreon. If, by the way, Game Freak, if you do that, that would actually be insane. I'd love it. Anyway, yeah, so basically... Um... The, thi the main idea of the video was Pokemon Black and White are pretty cool games. However, the decks felt really limiting. So, yeah. That was about the entirety of what the video would have been. Um, it would have been a very big mix but between me complaining and um, me praising the game. Uh, but I wanted to talk about the team so that I could go over it in uh, at the end of the year. So basically, the team was, hang on, Samurott, um, Sigilith, Levani, Chandelure. <sighs> it's, it's two more members. Come on, Nick. Chandelure. Um... Zebstrika and one more team member. Come on, you can think of them. You can think of one Pokemon, Nick. Come on. Samurott, Levani, Chandelure, Zebstrika, Sigilyph. <sighs> Who else was it? Who else was on the team? Um... Electric, water, grass, fire, flying. Those are my main types. Crocodile, that was it. Okay, so my team was Samurott, Leva Samurott, Levani, Chandelure, Crocodile, Zepstrika, and Sigilyph. Um, and it was actually, like, the most fun I've had in a playthrough in a while. In quite a while, I'm not gonna lie. Like... It was very refreshing to just do a vanilla playthrough of black and white. And I liked making notes on everything and I really I really enjoyed the team. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoyed the team. I'm going to mention it at in my video at the end of the year where I count down all my teams. Um what else? Got to be something else I can talk about. Oh, yeah, my suggestions for Unova remakes. Uh, if Unova could be open world in a remake, I would freaking love that. I don't think you guys realize how much Unova could actually benefit from being open world. All of my problems were with how limited I felt in movement and in the decks. And honestly, Unova looks like a region that could easily be open world. And I'd love it, man. I'd so love 
if Unova, like, was open world. And if they come out with a Legends Kyurem game, I'd be like, okay, I guess it's alright, but, like, there'd be a lot of missed opportunities there. Open world Unova. And what would a Unova remake even look like? And I know people don't really want Unova remakes because they feel that they'd ruin the games, yada, yada, yada. I don't care. I don't care. I like Unova. Like, I, I want Unova to be open world. I want to have a Unova remake. I want to see that in 3D. I want, like, there's so much you would get out of a Unova remake. I want to know what they'd call it. I'm thinking Pokemon Light Gray and Pokemon Dark Gray. <laughs> And if they really wanted a Legends QRM, they can have it, like, I won't judge, but I really do want to see what would happen with a Unova remake, especially with Pokemon entering the open world scape thing. I feel it would be pretty cool. Um, yeah. Can it rain yet? Please. It would be so nice if there could just be a rainstorm in this video. Because otherwise, then I'm, like, stuck talking about a series for, like, an hour. I mean, there's the six-month series, which I can talk about for an hour. Because it's one of the best series I've ever made. <laughs> like, that was the first series that I made that actual, like, that actually got traction on YouTube. And then came the Sonic series. And I have no idea what happened, but it blew up. No idea why. A large amount of my thumbnails were, like, fine, I guess, but they weren't that great. Except for one of them. Like, all the thumbnails were thinking auto-generated, and some of them looked really crappy. <laughs> like, I don't know what urged people to watch those videos, but they were watched, and one of them got 10,000 views. <laughs> compared to its predecessor, which got, like, 12 views. I don't know. It makes no sense. And it was just Sonic Frontiers. Should I make... Which begs the question, should I make a video on the Sonic Frontiers DLC? I feel like it wouldn't do very well. You know, it's so... It's kind of strange that a game that I love got me so many views a few months after it came out. The hype died. Like, and then, did I, like, bring it back or something? I, I don't understand. Um, and then the Forces videos, where I said probably the most controversial thing of my entire YouTube career, that being, Sonic Forces isn't that bad. Thought there was a spider behind me. Um, yeah, I said probably the most controversial thing the whole time. And no one gave a crap. Just no one cares. I, I don't get it. <laughs> I was so confused. Just like, what? However, I did have fun recording Sonic Forces. It's... I, I have changed the opinion I had, though, to it's not that bad. It's good in small doses, but not in large amounts. Anyway. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention was my Pokemon anime story, which I was, I've been writing with Ryan. I've more been bouncing ideas off of him, but, you know, I've still been writing it. Johto is a weird region to write off of, man. It's so hard, because it's like, yeah, this happens. But I've gotten five gym badges condensed down to 40 episodes. So we, 
like they've been collecting gym badges pretty quick and I've been covering some story stuff. I had to go through some of the most pivotal moments of these characters' arcs that happened before the League. And then the League is where some of the most pivotal arcs happen. Like, th this is where some of their character arcs peak. And, uh, yeah, Hoenn, I think, is going to be long. I think that's going to be a long one. Um, mostly because I have a lot of characters in that one. I hear you. I, I know that you want in. But guess what? I'm not letting you in. What are you going to do about it, huh, boy? What are you going to do? That's right, you can't get over the wall. You can't. You're just stuck out there. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway. Uh, yeah, looks like my fishing rod's about to break. Um, yeah, what else is there to really talk about? Um, iPixel Skyblock is highly likely not to become the series that I do, uh, mainly after the DLC. It's not. Here's my reasoning for this. I don't like Hypixel Skyblock. Not a fan. I'm just not a fan, you know? It's just not... <sighs> It's not fun. It's not fun enough for me to do that. For quite a while as well. Whereas Stardew Valley, I can actually start and end a series. Hypixel Skyblock, that crap will never end. And also, with Stardew Valley, I can stinking do all the grinding on camera. It's, it's just a better deal for me. Especially because I get home from college and I'm just like, oof, I need to blow off some steam. I'll play some, and, and I've been getting into Stardew recently. However, the save file I've been doing on Stardew has been with a friend of mine. So, it's been kind of odd. Um been kind of odd and kind of hard to do. So, yeah, we, we, like, do the save file together. However, he can only really get on kind of late at night. And we can only, that means we can only really play on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and weekends. Speaking of which, my high school. I learned my high school is starting on September 1st. Why? Why are you guys starting that early? No one deserves that fate. Wow, they are loud. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Give me a fish. How am I catching puffer fish out here? I don't think that should be possible. This is a lake. Is it a lake? What biome is this? Plains. I think over there is a river biome. Um... Yeah. I know fishing in jungles can actually lead to getting different fish. Uh, let's see. Um. I'm watching that. Hang on. That flies back so fast. Yeah, it's all just a plains biome. Like, there's not much, not much else here. Yeah, it's all just planes biome. All right. <sighs> oh 
How long have we been going? Feels like it's been a while. Probably around 30 minutes. Yeah, I can't control the weather. And I kind of just have to wait for a thunderstorm. Which... Please! Please happen! Oh my god, I need it. I think it rained once in this world. I think it rained one time. Is the sun going down again? No, it's rising. Okay. Something I could have done is like some adventure maps, but modern Minecraft maps are just not good. They're just not that good. Plus, I have so much trouble downloading them. It's just not worth it. Okay? It's just not. Like, it's not worth it. It's not worth the trouble. I, I can't be bothered. Um, come on. There we go. Fishies. <laughs> yeah, this is nice and relaxing. And, and guys, if Hypixel Skyblock gets 75% of that vote in the community tab. Uh, I will actually um, do that. However, it has to get 75%. If Stardew Valley is in the minority, but uh, Skyblock is past 75%, then um, I'm still going to do Skyblock. Or, um, Stardew. What did I pick up? Was it a salmon? I don't know. I'm yet to get a tropical fish. I hope I do. <sighs> oh, here's a fish. All right. Next one. <sighs> you know what? When I sleep in real life, a really weird thing happens when I wake up the next day. Because one of my blankets will be horizontal, while the other one is vertical. That's one weird thing that happens. Sometimes, the blankets, I use two blankets, sometimes they flip, and I'm just stinking, like, what? Sometimes, like, they flip and they're horizontal. So basically, you have the blank. when I say they flip, you have the blanket on top, the blanket on the bottom. Sometimes they'll just, like, It's so weird. It's so weird. I don't know what I do in my sleep, but I think I need a stinking camera in here to find out. Like, I'd love to see that. I'd go through that footage and just be like, what? <sighs> um. Yeah. We're yet to get anything good. Dang it. There weren't many areas to fish, really. So, like, this was the only really good area. In the uh, plain bi Plains Biome Circle, so. Yeah. I had to sort of turn it into a nice area for fishing. Um... Fish, 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 
Fish. Fish. Give me a Draco fish here. Give me Mr. Fish. There we go. That's Mr. Fish. Um, yeah. Would you guys see a, com would you guys watch a compilation of this? Of me just fishing in Minecraft? Would you guys watch a compilation of that? I wouldn't. Well, maybe I would. I don't know. Um, Getting some lily pads. I might decorate this. Um, Because it kind of is just a bit of a bare pond with some kelp and lanterns in it. I might decorate it. I don't know. It looks good for the most part. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to end off there. It's about to become night, but I think I'm going to end off. Uh, so we have quite the yield for today. Decent amount of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that's going to end this video here. If you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, share this video with everyone you know and love, and I will see you all later. Bye!